All right, I'd like to talk a little bit about the uh, trumpet player who wants to switch over to horn. And first of all, you're doing the right thing. It's a wonderful instrument. Okay, first thing you've got to know is you have to be able to put your hand in the, in the bell correctly. You're switching from the playing hand to the hand that not only holds the instrument, but it also determines the beautiful color of the, of the French horn sound. So first of all, you want to make sure that your fingers are all together and that your thumb is over here on this quarter of your index finger. So you put them all together and then, and then you put it in at approximately the three o'clock position. It's very tempting to do this. Don't do this. You'll sound like, mm hmm, you'll sound like, I was gonna say a trombone, but it might be worse than that. So you, don't, you, won't, you kind of want to avoid doing that, all right? So it's better to do that. Think of your hand as softening the sound of the instrument as the, as the air comes out, okay? So the other, th the other thing is, all right, on the trumpet, you were uh, probably told not to use the pinky uh, holder there, but on the French horn, you can do that because it helps to stabilize how it works. Now, with these valves, it's kind of interesting, you know, trying to find your way around because the, the horn is actually in a di completely different key based on the length of the instrument, oddly enough. You hear about horn and F. Well, the F horn is all these, all these slides, you know, which are much, much longer than what's on the trumpet. And because the instrument is so much longer, it just makes a difference on where, where things are, okay? The trumpet, you had these three open notes, C, G, and C. Now, oddly enough, with French horn, those notes are a lot lower because of the natural way that the instrument resonates on itself with the column, column of air. Much more scientific than I wanted to get into. But you'll notice, you have to be very low in order to get those, get those notes. These, this is not going to be the regular range that you play in at first. Now those notes are a lot higher on the trumpet, so as you'll notice, the notes get very close together in the, in the playable range of the instrument. So you gotta get familiar with those, all right? If that sounds like a familiar, like the trumpet is playing high, you're a very good listener because you, you are indeed playing the same notes that a trumpet would play a much, much higher. Again, it has to do with the length of the instrument and how the column of air uh, uh, resonates. All right, so you'll want to learn where middle C is on the French horn. It's very easy to find. You go over to the piano, find middle C, and then go down to where the F is. Notice it's French horn and F. Uh, the C sounds like an F on the piano, okay? You want to get that into your ear so well that it might even be possible for you to sing that note. Okay, now uh, let me get back to, to something before we, we explore that, is the embouchure of the French horn versus the trumpet. Now the trumpet you have an embouchure which is kind of flat because the cup of the mouthpiece is rather shallow. I mean you can't put your finger in very far, but in the French horn it's deeper, all right? And because it's deeper, you're gonna have to have a little bit more space. Now if you're playing with your I mean, with a, with simply with a, similar to a trumpet embouchure, you're not going to get very far on the French horn because there's, there's a large range on the French horn that you have to play in. Okay, it's going to be a very thin sound because your, your, your lips are vibrating in a very small area. So what we want to do is we want to move the mouthpiece up a little bit so that there's more top lip in the mouthpiece. That gives us a little bit more vibration range in order to be able to play. Now the French horn has a range of almost four octaves. Now the trumpet, for the trumpet to have four octaves, you've got to play really, really high in a very uncomfortable area of, the, of playing. So, uh, and and the true, some, some of that is true for French horn too. Um, but I'll do, I'll do uh, uh, three octaves of some of these open notes for you so you can hear what they're like. If you were listening very closely, you'll hear half steps up at the top. That's how the that's how close the notes get uh, close together that the notes get. And you'll notice 
you have to have a lot of a lot of movement in your lip in order to be to get the the actual uh, full sound of the instrument. Okay, there's a lot to talk about with this, but I hope this at least gives you a little overview of what uh, what you'll be doing in order to get a really beautiful sound on the French horn. Talk to you later.